Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it's going to be a nice fretwork chalice that will hold a six inch diameter potted plant or candle. So just keep that in mind. I've already got all the pattern printed out and attached to our material with clear packing tape, and all the material in this project will be one quarter inch material. So just keep that in mind. The decorative feature on this basket is going to be the side brackets here, and you need 12 of them. And Steve graciously drew out all 12 of them in the pattern pack that you download in the PDF format. I have just taken four of the individual patterns and attached them to three layers of quarter inch material. So we will cut out all 12 of them by just cutting out the four pieces here due to stack cutting. So really, really neat. And there's some nice decorative fretwork in it. And then the top and bottom pieces, the top rings there, you see. And then we have the base and everything and you guys know that the quarter inch material that I pick up at Lowe's is not a true one quarter inch so I've taken a small piece of the same material and just redrew my cut lines that way we know that the slotted and tab pieces will be nice and secure once we get to the assembly now my mom keeps a bunch of potted plants in her kitchen so hopefully once this project is completely done and assembled one of those potted plants will fit down in it to give it just a nice added flair and decorative touch but since everything is prepared let's move the camera so we can go and drill some pilot holes for internal cutting and then we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling and over here at the workbench I'm taking my Seiko scrollers drill to drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting and I'm just using an extra board underneath to prevent blowout on the back side of where the holes are drilled and then we will head over to the scroll saw and I will quickly file the back side of the blade with a diamond hone that a subscriber sent me. It helps make tighter turns over on the scroll saw and we will begin scrolling. I am using number five ultra reverse tooth blades and right now they are cutting through all three layers of the quarter inch material exceptionally well with minimal chip out. With it being three layers high, I am of course taking my time and letting the blade do the work. If you guys would like to try this pattern, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in his free pattern catalog. I'm really starting to enjoy the therapeuticness of fretwork patterns because they can be tedious, but they can also be relaxing to cut out. And the style is just an elegance of a bygone era. But just going through here, and I'll, of course, get all of the internal cuts done. And now you see me going to a single layer of quarter-inch material, which is one of the rings that has the slots in it. And I'm taking that extra piece of the same quarter-inch material and just testing it every time. I do the slot before I even release the tension of the blade just to make sure that everything is going to be a snug fit once we get to assembly. And a lot of this pattern is very repetitive, but if you take your time and cut everything out, you're going to end up with a beautiful fretwork piece that can be an awesome piece of home decor. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me across all of my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. Again, just going through here and cutting everything out. And once I get everything cut, I set it over to my right. And I just love having the L-shaped workbench to set stuff aside. And I can keep on scrolling without ever having to get up and get all of the project knocked out in one sitting. And you see I did not change the blade there to go back to stack cutting the three layers here. And of course stack cutting three layers deep, essentially three quarter inch thickness, is important that you double check to make sure your scroll saw is at a perfect 90 degrees to the blade. but we will cut out four of the brackets, which will in turn, due to stack cutting, give us the 12 that we need to make up the fretwork flower pot. And this was just a good project to turn on some good music. 
and get lost in my world of sawdust. And of course this piece will be going to my mom. She has a ton of flowers and plants and herbs in her kitchen. Always a lot of greenery year round in it. And I went through two blades cutting out this project and if you ever feel your blade getting dull just go ahead and change it. You don't want to risk the blade breaking and potentially snapping off a piece of delicate scroll work. But coming around here cutting out the final three brackets. And now that all the scroll work is done we will remove all of the pieces from the waste wood and kind of get a visual of what everything is starting to look like and then it will be time to sand everything with 180 grit sandpaper in the palm sander this is the cling spore brand sandpaper and the blades really do most of the work to where we just have to do some touch up sanding here and prep everything for finishing And I opted to paint the rings and the base with some nice Rust-Oleum paint. That's a nice burgundy color. I really like this color. And then we stained all 12 of the brackets with Minwax wood stain. And I made sure they were completely saturated and then wiped off all of the excess with a piece of t-shirt material. And then I hung all 12 of them up on hooks to dry. And then once everything was dried completely, it was time to begin assembly. And I'm using medium grade CA glue and activator. And I'll still use clamps just to make sure everything has a nice bond. And I'll let everything dry around five minutes in between each glue up. And now we are gluing all 12 of the brackets in place. And I did unfortunately break one during this. And I quickly patched it right here on camera. And once again gave around 5 minutes for it to dry. And then it was time to glue on one of two of the top rings and you just have to manipulate the pieces carefully to get them all to line up in the slots but once this piece is locked in the piece really becomes more sturdy and I will add more CA glue and activator and let that once again dry for a few minutes and then come back and put on the top ring and I tried to add clamps to it but there was not enough room for the clamp to grab so I just applied pressure and the activator and then once it was completely dry I gave it several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss and the project was complete And here we have the completed fretwork style pot holder and it came out amazingly well. Thank you Steve Good for another fantastic design from your pattern catalog. Really really neat because this is cut out completely on the scroll saw. Once again showing the scroll saw's versatility of not only cutting out flat two dimensional pieces like a portrait of somebody or something but it can also take things into the third dimension with slots and tabs and make a nice beautiful three dimensional piece as we've made here today. Really really neat. It took me around an hour to scroll this out. It's not a very complicated pattern. It's just a very repetitive pattern. You need 12 of the brackets. You need two of the top ring. You need two of the base pieces. So I can see how a new scroller would kind of get put off by a pattern like this. But just hear me out. Attempt it and you'll be amazed at how cool everything looks once it's put together. And with this being a slotted or an and tabbed project, I took my time and let the blade do the work. And I was as loyal as I could be to the cut line. And because I was as loyal as I could, be once we got to the assembly process after we painted and stained everything 
everything fit together seamlessly and slotted together. Now, unfortunately, this is fretwork, and fretwork is fragile, and during the assembly process, I did break one of the 12 brackets. You guys seen it on camera, and there it is. I repaired it as best I could on the fly with CA glue, and with this being a perfectly round project and being perfectly symmetrical, we can always put this piece against the wall and no one will never know except the people that see this video. You know, it's just one of those things that happen and I hope you guys appreciate me leaving that in the video. But I had a lot of fun in this and I stained the brackets and I painted the top rings and then the base here. I thought this was a cool color combo. And of course the intended purpose for this is for it to hold a potted plant. Now while this was drying out in the summer sun, I went to my mom's and went in her kitchen and got her money tree that sits in the window of above the sink and it's really grown it's really surprised me so here is kind of a visual of what Steve Good intended of course you don't have to put nothing this tall in it this is just what I grabbed that I thought would fit down in it and thankfully it does you could put a smaller potted plant down in here maybe one like a herb or a shrub or something that's not as tall as the money tree there but of course I'm going to give this to my mom and she can do with it what she wants to you could put candy down in here you have the option of putting a candle in here but just keep in mind if you put a candle down in it and with a flame being with a wooden piece never leave it unattended always keep an eye on it and blow the candle out if you put a candle in here if that's what you want to do when you leave a room so really really neat I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you guys like me documenting it here on film another amazing design cut out completely on the scroll saw that's about all for this one if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all of my social medias under the artisan pirate name links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description boxes below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if i can make it or do it so can you i'm the artisan pirate take care and i'll see you guys real soon